Hello there, this is Fernando coming to you from Melbourne, Australia with your 60 seconds of motivation, inspiration, tips and resources to help you grow your home business. Now today, I'm sharing three steps to help you reprogram yourself for success. And uh, if you've been following along with me with my daily messages, you know that recently we've been speaking particularly around the power of the subconscious and how everything uh, everything that we are, who we are, our self-image, our autopilots are all, all reside in there. And if you've missed these messages, then I'm strongly going to invite you to um, head over to Fernando Loaiza Live and um, like us and set to see us first by clicking on the following button and that way you'll be sure to never miss any messages that I share. There might just be the, the one message that you need to hear for that day to help you get on the right track. Now, when I say the right day, the right time of day, it's uh, 7.30 in the morning here as you may know. Uh, usually pretty early for me to get on and share this valuable content with you. Now, let's get on with the message. So three steps to help you reprogram for your, uh, reprogram yourself for success. Hey, Anthony, thanks for uh, tuning in, buddy. So number one is faith. Now, <clears throat> if you're not a religious person, if you're, um, you might associate faith with, with the Bible, but there is a different definition of faith. There's a faith being the, um, the evidence... The, or the, let put it this way, the ability to see the invisible, okay? The ability to see the invisible, believe the incredible, and that will allow you to have what the masters call impossible, right? So there's the definition of faith. See, how do you see the invisible if you're not using your eyes? Well, you've got to use your mental eyes. You've got to be able to uh, use your imagination, right? Uh, that mental image of what, you, what it is that you want. So that's step number one. You must have faith. You must be able to see mentally what it is that you want, the outcome that you desire. Number two, you've got to have expectancy. Now, what does expectancy mean? Expectancy means, <clears throat> you know, when you're a little child and uh, you wake up to Christmas morning and there's always this expectation that there was going to be a present under the Christmas tree, right? If you live in the western part of the world. Um, and there's always that expectation, you know, you're, you're happy, you're excited. You know there's something there, you don't know what it is and you're hoping that you've been good and that Santa's heard your uh, read your letters and then you're going to have the right present, right? There's an expectation. You want to have that level of expectancy when you are trying to reprogram yourself for success with a new image um, that you're trying to create for yourself. <clears throat> and the third step is constant spaced repetition. Now, again, I've been sharing in recent messages how our, how our subconscious is programmed, how our conditionings, our paradigms, our habits are programmed in us is uh, from a very young age, just that constant space repetition. In fact, by the age of five, we've heard the word no over 40,000 times and the word yes only about 8,000 times. As of, uh, oh, sorry, uh, uh, 40,000 times and 5,000 times the word yes, which is a factor of eight, which is why so many people are messed up and so afraid of rejection and all these things because we've just heard no, 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 except we're not a child anymore, right? We're not a child anymore, so we can make different choices and we can choose what we want. And that's what we're trying to do here. So that's how you got program in the first place. So we must use the same process to reprogram ourselves for success. So what does constant space repetition look like? Well, once you know what is the new image that you want to program within yourself, an image that you can see with your mental eyes, that's what that faith is about, with that expectation that it, it's happening, it's going gonna, it's gonna to manifest in due course, just like any seed that you plant in the ground, if it's a carrot seed and you're a farmer, I'm not a farmer, so I don't know how many days for a carrot seed to come out of the ground, but if you're a farmer, you'll know how many days, and there's an expectation that in, in, in the due time, that carrot will sprout and will produce a carrot, right? And uh, the problem with most people is that today they plant a carrot, to, tomorrow they plant a potato, the next day they plant something else. And so you never really give that seed time to grow. So we don't want to do that with, with our constant space repetition. We want to plant an image of what we do want and we want to stick with that image and we want to visualize that every day. And so the constant space repetition is about allowing yourself to get very relaxed. And I would say minimum two times a day, if you can, three times a day. I tend to do it uh, first thing in the morning at uh, 5.30 in the morning. I do a morning, uh, a morning ritual, which I've shared about before here, where I allow, <clears throat> allow myself to visualize what I want. I do some work with Tony Robbins, and then I do some just visualization, movie scripts. And then in the evening before you go to bed, just as you're going off to sleep, 
also allow yourself to visualize this mental movie because what happens is you're using your imagination uh, to visualize this. What you're doing is you are impressing that image upon your subconscious, right? That's how we got programmed in the first place. And if we do that every single day, right, uh, day in and day out, uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to be impressing this new image uh, into our subconscious. And before we know it, will start to manifest those results because we'll be attracting circumstances, conditions, and people. Now, unfortunately, uh, we're not, when you're farming in universe, it's not the same as planting a carrot because we know how many days for a carrot seed to come out of the ground. But, but when we're farming in the, in the mind, in the, in the soil of universe, planting the seed in, uni, in universe in our mind, we don't know what the gestation period is. But what we do know is that the more energy you give that, then the, the sooner you can maybe manifest that outcome in your life because you, what you focus on expands, where, energy, or what is it, where focus goes, energy flows, and results show. Okay, so I want to just encourage you today, if you are trying to reprogram yourself for success, if there's an area of your life that you're not happy with, that you want to improve, change, or alter, follow these three simple steps. Quick recap, number one, you must have faith. I've defined it for you already here. Number two, have an expectation that is going to happen, right? Absolute faith that it will happen, like a child expecting to open up a Christmas present. And number three, use constant space repetition by allowing yourself to get emotionally connected with that idea, visualizing it on the screen of your mind as if it's a done deal. Act as if, it's, it's, it's more than just words, act as if, because your subconscious doesn't know the difference between what's real and what is not. Hope that makes a difference for you today and that gets you on the right start. Start putting it into action. If there's no action, then nothing happens. So, did you find value in this message? So, so where have we got here? We've got, uh, let's have a look. Uh, Edwin, thanks for joining in. Ingrid, all the way from Brazil. Hello, Ingrid. Uh, Mari de Horta. Henry. Hey, primo. Hello from Colombia. Saludos. Anthony and Robin. Hey, Robin from Queensland. Nice to see you here, Robin. Always early. Good on you. Hope you found value. If you did, do me a favor. Leave a comment below. Tell me what it means to you. Tell me how you can apply it. And also, if you want to, if you haven't connected with me at my website, uh, fernandaloaza.com, head over there. I have a free gift for you, 10 days to more leads, more prospects, and more cash flow, along with lots of other resources. And if you like this idea of how the mind works, there are podcasts on my blog, at fernandaloaza.com forward slash blog. Go and listen to some of those. It would, uh, it would change your day for sure. All right, stay blessed. Thank you for joining in live. If you're watching the recording, hope you enjoy it and we'll speak real soon. Bye for now.